from Mercedes fans. Today's video is on the CO potentiometer adjustment. This is for all non catalyst models. In, this will be found in all European and South African models. Basically, you may, I'm not sure, I think my car will have a O2 sensor, but one, and it will have this. This is my original. Is mounted over here. It has a connector over here. Not most people know what this is. It's mounted over here. It doesn't really have to be adjusted, but if someone does adjust it, this was the source of my idle problems and very high fuel mileage. You can run the car without it, but you will notice in cold weather sometimes the car will go into limp mode, but only until it heats up completely. But it did once and it's just uh, <clears throat> went away. Uh, then I had very, very good fuel consumption. I have gotten a replacement from in 1995 C280. This is um, used in all, mostly all South African models and all non catalysts. You'll see it's not only for Mercedes, it's for motorbikes, for um, Volvo, a lot of the models. Basically, there is a way to adjust it. You don't want to touch this if no one has touched. You can check the adjustment, and I'm using what well, is when I was using. I will set it to 20, 20 thousand ohms. My voltmeter put. I'm going to show you the reading on the 95s ones. So I'll put on pins two and one, doesn't matter which one you put positive lead or negative lead, same you'll get the same reading. Let me put this down so I can hook it up. And there you see 0 0.86. That is the correct reading. My car runs perfect with this. The power is is beast. If this car is now beast. The power is back. The idle problems are gone. There's no richness anymore. And on my other one, I will be hooking up. Let me just hook this and I'll show you how to really adjust it. Getting is working with the trying to hold this both leads with one hand is quite uh, challenging. Basically, there's a screw in here, flat head, it's like an adjuster. You're gonna just turn it until the that see that's 0 0.9 until it reads 0 0.86. I'm gonna do that to decrease the readings on the ohms. Let me just keeps on popping out on me let me just put it straight come on huh? come on there we go you turn it right to decrease the reading you have to be delicate and my potentiometer is now set but I will be using 95s oh shucks Okay, that never hurt it. And now, let me just hook this up since it fell down again. I will show you all the reading is now 0 0.86, which is the correct reading. And I'm getting really good fuel consumption now. If you unplug the sensor and you're getting good fuel consumption better, that means it's out of the CO adjustment. Most don't take it to anybody. Eight six. See, not all of them. This let me just try. This doesn't just go left right. It can go. It works like a normal screw. Goes right in, comes right out. 
So don't underestimate. I have three of these things. The third one was from a C220. These are used in almost every Mercedes. From four cylinders up to 12 cylinders. All non-catalyst models. If you have idle issues like I did. Or high fuel mileage. And when you start the car. You hear like a burr, like um, it like really like just goes like, uh, uh. like now it just goes like, uh, smooth idle even with the aircon on, and if you're having a stalling, uh, stalling situation, you'll see. Well, you basically the be how best is the way to know you are gonna press your accelerator right to the floor and let go fast, like you're gonna just like tap like this. Like that, and it must go right till two thousand. As it's coming out, if you hear pa pa pa, like small pa pa pa, that means your mixture is off. On non-catalyst models, you will have can use that. Um, you have to have an exhaust gauge though. But based on my readings, you could use the zero point eight six as a baseline. So I see my car is running one hundred percent. I assure you. Let me show y'all. Let me plug it in first. I'm going to plug the 95s because I'm still not sure if that sensor is good or any good or not. Someone was in this because they actually adjusted when I sent it for a service when told them. You can see someone tried to get in. Silicone's gone so I said I'm not going to trust this. If water gets in it, I'm going to have a whole lot of havoc while I'm driving. So I'm going to be safe. And actually, these sensors are quite expensive new. On my and it costs 2,500 rands by you that will be about $200 now you will get a code if you start your car out but your car will run this uh, kind of goes into like a preset mode that sh they have programmed in ECU I recommend you use this method if you can if you really you just have to set it to that baseline when you start it Oh god, I don't have the keys with me, sorry. So I can't really start it right now. Um, but anyway, let me show you the carbon deposits on my exhaust. Um, this car has one O2 sensor, don't know where it is, never gave me trouble. I'm not gonna stress about it, it doesn't burn rich. I made a scratch. I don't know if y'all can see this. It looks dark, but it's hardly anything there. This is. Two weeks of running rich, not rich, sorry, running right. This car is not burn rich anymore. At idle, it is perfect, it repairs, engine runs smooth, no fluctuations. It kept on giving me the math code though, the math doesn't want to go away. This is a brand new math, third math, Bosch, they retested, they gave me replacements. So, don't believe your ECU. Unplug that co potential to and drive your car around. If you see your car idles better, then I would bet it is that sensor. Use a voltmeter, ohm meter, a multimeter, sorry, you, whatever you want to call it. Pins 2 and 1, and that's what your settings should look like. Don't worry if you see, oh, it's different. Mine doesn't have the blue cap. This one had the blue cap. I just put it there so it looks original. Don't worry. Just get, if you get a replacement from a C280, um, take the reading, put it on yours. Like, match it. But use 0 0.86 as a baseline. I'm sorry, this video is going a little bit lengthy, but yeah. So, if you all have any more Mercedes questions, um, please leave comments in the board. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, give thumbs up and tell me what I can do to improve the video. Thanks.